Hey everyone, I've been working through the night to finish my circuit here. Got it running. Just want to show you what I put together. This is a temporary setup. This will be all put into a box if I decide to put this into my vehicle. But uh, this is my setup just for temporarily. I've got an old cheese cutter board here that uh, the cheese cutter is gone. It makes it real easy to screw stuff to it. And uh, put some acrylic on there for some terminals. Um, here's my little JK flip flop chip. Now that thing is so simple. I count about five components to make it work. Uh, we have a voltage regulator over here, not necessary, and a capacitor for a little DC filtering, but that's it. Five components timing chip, and two Darlington transistors. Uh, works great. Uh, you can probably hear the buzzing. It's running right now. Shunt resistor for measuring current. Uh, I'm going to start from the beginning here. Um, here's my oscilloscope. Um, you can only see that this is the signal going to the plates. Um, at the top of the DC pulse coming out of the diode bridge. Um, I think it's running about 60 hertz. It seems to be where the transformer likes to run. Okay, here's my transformer, or my power supply. I built this in high school. It is a mess. But it's what I had when I was in high school, and it seems to work. Puts out quite a bit of current. Um, parts I gathered up. Anyway, it's putting out about 11 volts right now. And this is my current. Current shows about 8 amps. Um, through my series shunt. How this works is the positive voltage comes through the shunt and then goes to my center tap. Okay, the negative feeds to my Darlington pair transistors. This transistor runs this leg and this transistor turns this leg on and off. Now that drives my, my toroid. Warms up just a little bit, but I really don't get much heat out of it. Not to make any difference. So I've got uh, 11 volts pulsed input. This is my output. I've got approximately 41.6 volts coming out. Here's my toroid. It goes through to my diode bridge. Didn't have another diode bridge, so I had to put one together. And then from my diode bridge, it goes around and into my plates. This is the same stainless steel wall plate setup that I had before in previous videos. It's 11 plates, one neutral, two positives, um, or one negative, two positives, and eight neutrals. So it's positive, neutral, 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 negative, neutral, 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 positive. Um, as far as my electrolyte, I have about half a teaspoon. I mean, it's literally just a pinch between my fingers. Um, probably not even half a teaspoon. As you can see, it's it's producing pretty well. Pretty happy with it. That buzzing sound is actually the trans the toroid buzzing. Here, I'll give you my. This is the water temperature. Water temperature is 59 degrees. Uh, I'm using sparklet steam distilled water and baking soda. Anyway, next thing to do, next video I post will be a container to show my gas production and some kind of metering device to measure my liters per minute. That's basically it. Um, 
appreciate any comments you make. You can always email me, ask questions. I'm more than happy to answer anything that you have questions about. Um, and as always, the dog in Pete Dog. Signing out. Bye.